Hi again. In this lecture, we're going to see the power sequence. So, as you can see here, okay? So, here we have the power sequence of a laptop. Basically, this is the power sequence of any computer. The working principle is the same. So, as you can see here, this square means ICs or chips. Okay? So, here, as you can see, we have the adapter. Okay? This is the, the power adapter. So, this is the direction of the current. Here, we have a MOSFET or a switch, as you can see here, with this diode inside. So, this is the drain. Here we have the source and here we have a gate. This is the reference of this MOSFET FDS6675A. Okay. Here we have a current sense resistors. Okay, as you can see here, it is connected to the power management IC. This is the charge IC, as you can see. So let's assume that this adapter is a 19 volt adapter so this 19 volt will pass through this switch or this mosfet and then pass through this resistance and then go directly to here so as you can see here we have the v bat v bat means the main power of the motherboard okay so the V bat is equal to 19 volt. This V bat will be distributed to the whole motherboard, to every circuit in the motherboard, as you can see here. So here we get the V bat that is equal to 19 volt. It will be applied to this IC or to this circuit, as you can see. This is a 3 volt and 5 volt circuit, as you can see here. This circuit will generate plus 5 volt and plus 3 volt okay so here this is the ic as you can see this is the the reference of this ic tps 51 120 okay and here we have two mosfets always you will find mosfets with the ic in each circuit Okay, so we have two MOSFETs, as you see here, or two switches, exactly like a switch. Here also, as you can see, the VBAT, as you see, will be also applied to this circuit, as you can see. So this is 1.5 and 0.9, and also 1.8 circuit. This IC will generate 1.8 volts, as you can see. But here we have VBAT, as you can see, okay? This is the VBAT, 19 volt will be applied to this IC. The power, the main power or the working power for this IC or the working voltage is 19 volt or VBAT. So when this IC is powered and receives or enabled signals, it will generate 1.5 volt for chipsets and will generate also 1.8 volt for RAM or random access memory. And this 1.8 volt will be applied to another, another IC. The reference of this IC is in the motherboard is TPS 51100. This IC will receive 1.8 volt and will generate 0.9 volt also for RAM for RAM terminals okay so the VBAT is goes here to 503 volt IC and also here to this IC in order to generate these three voltages 1.8 volt 1.5 volt and 0.9 volt and also will be applied to this IC. This is a TPS51117. This IC will generate plus VCCP. This is a voltage for GMCH and ICH and also the CPU, okay? Also, the VBAT will be applied to this big IC. This is a CPU 
power management as you can see this is cpu power management okay so this ic will generate the vcc core this is the main voltage for the cpu okay so this ic will get 19 volt here the 19 volt is the main power for this ic okay or the working power so the reference of this ic is max or maxim 8770 okay max or maxim 8770 so here we have many signals like power okay shut down etc and here we have here the main and this is slave means this is the first channel and this is the second channel when this channel is working this will stop working when this is stop working this will start working okay and of course here as you see we have the v b or the v battery also this is the v ba b this means v battery when for example the, the adapter is removed this power will charge it to power the whole motherboard as you see we have here the battery as you can see here okay